Good, good evening and welcome back uh, to the news. The independent committee appointed in March last year to review the conditions and salaries of constitutional appointees is yet to complete its work and, ha and as such, there is no definite recommendations. Vice President Ahmed Afif made the comment when answering a private notice question from the leader of the opposition in the National Assembly, Sebastian Pillay. Mr. Pillay was seeking details on the proposals as the Vice President had made a declaration on the review in July following a cabinet meeting. The vice president said that a salary review for constitutional appointees will be implemented only if a bill on the matter is approved by the National Assembly. The Minister for Transport, Anthony Dejac, has so told the National Assembly that there are no significant developments so far in negotiations on two major national projects. Uh, those are plans uh, to carry out a major expansion on Port Victoria and a major upgrade at the Seychelles International Airport. The minister, who was answering a question from the US MNA, Johan Lose, pointed out that no country is involved in the negotiations. The negotiations on the expansion of Port Victoria involve the government of Seychelles and the Abu Dhabi Ports Company. On the other hand, the Abu Dhabi Airports Company is involved in the talks with Seychelles to draw up a master plan for the Pointe la Rue International Airport. Minister Dejac said an announcement on the project will be made at uh, uh, at what he called an appropriate time. There is a possibility that the road project to connect Pasquer and Grand Anson Pralin will be diverted when it reaches uh, the La Plaine Hollandaise area. This is uh, because uh, PUC's plan to build a dam on that area is still on the table, but details on its size and the exact location has not been decided yet. The Minister for Transport, Anthony Dejac, visited uh, the area on Friday to see the different op options that the road may be diverted. Minister de Jacques also visited the location where SPTC will have its new depot on Eve Island next to the upcoming vehicle testing station. Finance is yet to be secured for the project. Participants of the Sustainable Garden Competition received their prize at a ceremony this afternoon in the Camion Hall Garden in Victoria. The Ministry of Ag Agriculture, Climate Change and Environment organized the competition with the aim of raising awareness among population about sustainable practices in homes. Uh, there were several categories, small, medium, and large gardens, and planting on balconies. Uh, there was also a prize for best effort, one for inner islands, and a young people prize. Many people attended the event, which included a fair where farmers and florists were selling a variety of vegetable, spice, and flower plants, specifically to encourage people to plant at home. The U.S. Embassy in Seychelles has announced the arrival of Adam Lufti as the new chargé d'affaires of U.S. to the Seychelles. Mr. Lufti was uh, officially introduced uh, to the Acting Principal Secretary for Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Selby Pile, this morning. Mr. Lufti will be based in Mahé in his role as Chargé d'Affaires. He will be responsible for the United States bilateral relationship with Seychelles, which includes managing the expanding portfolio of diplomatic, economic, and security related priorities shared by the U.S. and Seychelles governments. We've come to the end of this news summary. Thank you for watching.